I have been a YouTube content creator for over a decade, creating thousands of videos on this platform and accumulating over 400,000 subscribers and 33 million views. And this is how I plan my videos to attract an audience. This is a three-part process. The first, we come up with ideas for the video. What's the title going to be? What are the things we're gonna talk about? And we're going to be leveraging the power of AI because life just gets easier with technology. Next, I'm gonna show you my note card creator framework. I break down everything I'm gonna do on camera on to a note card to keep it really simple about what the audience wants to see and how I'm going to talk about it. And finally, I'm going to show you how we take the footage and get it edited without having to become a professional video editor in the act, staying in creative control, but allowing AI to take over all the mind numbing, annoying parts of video editing. Let's dive in. All right, to get started, we have to open up Descript, which is also the sponsor of this video. If you have not heard of them yet, I'm about to change your life. Descript is a new kind of video editor that makes it as easy to edit video as it is to edit a document. Descript's AI powered features and intuitive interface fuel YouTube and TikTok channels, top podcasts, even businesses using video for marketing sales and in internal training and collaboration. The script aims to make video a staple of every communicator's toolkit just like documents and slides. And they believe you don't need multiple subscriptions to different tools to be able to create for all of these platforms. You just need Descript. I've included a link to Descript in the description down below so that you can dive in and try it for free as I'm going through this tutorial. Check that out. So the first step is figuring out what we're gonna talk about. In Descript, we're gonna go to a new project and say video project. And we're gonna click on Underlord, which is their new amazing AI technology that's gonna help us do all of this. Now we're gonna scroll down to brainstorm and I already have an idea here started so we're gonna submit it and Underlord is going to start to pull some information based on what kind of video that I want to make so usually you have kind of an idea of what you want to talk about this is a chance to fully flesh it out type in whatever ideas that you have into Underlord and it's going to start pulling up talking points and a potential script for you to use so now instead of starting from zero and a blank slate you have a script in front of you and most importantly a starting point. You can go here and say, okay, I like this, this is right, and start adding and taking away what you think needs to get covered in the content. This is where AI is very useful, so we don't feel like we have writer's block, but at the same time, it does need to be your own. It needs to be your opinion, and you don't just wanna share generic information because your video is not gonna be that interesting if you do that. They can find this information pretty much by Googling or using AI, so make it your own. And if you wanna flesh it out here in a script, you can do that. I don't usually read from a script, but I like to have talking points in front of me to make sure that I can kind of have a fluid conversation like this, but get back to being on point and making sure that I say everything I wanted to say in each video to make it as good, as generous, and as delivered as the promise in the title. So you can kind of decide if your route is to use a script or to just have talking points like me, but this is what I use Underlord technology for. And now I have a really great starting point for what this video is going to sound like when I get to talking. Now, if you're gonna go the script route and you're finalizing it here in Descript, I recommend you use the text to speech feature. And I've got Alan pulled up here so that I can check my work and have him read through the script so I can hear how it sounds. Welcome to create your first product and launch your store with nothing but a computer. In this video, we'll guide you through the essential steps to turn your idea into a successful online store. Okay, so that was a lot of the hard work. You know what the video is going to be about. You kind of flesh through that and you have talking points that you like. So now we just need to make sure that the video is structured in a way that the audience is going to enjoy the experience of what you're talking about and what they're going to get out of it. Believe me when I say it's very easy to get into this seat and be college professor and just want to say everything and yell at the camera and be like, do all these awesome things and your life will change. But too much, too fast, can be really challenging for someone to absorb. So how we structure the delivery, how we package it is going to be everything, which is why I have my note card creator framework. I know what my video is about. I've got some talking points that I am reviewing, but I like to have everything very simply structured on a note card. It just makes filming so much easier for me. So I'm gonna show you what I write on my note card to keep me on point for my videos and uh, make sure that it's the most valuable experience for my viewer as humanly possible. For the sake of white on white, I am writing on my famous pink notebook. <laughs> Everyone asks me about this notebook. The notebook is not being used today. So on the front of the card, I'm gonna make a T. 
And this is inspired by a process that I learned Zach King does, OG YouTuber, when he's trying to come up with great content. He really breaks it down very simply because if it's not simple on the front end, it's not gonna be good inside. So first, what's the title? What's the thumbnail? What is the content? When you're coming up with your title, and we've already started to go through that process in Descript, but what you should be thinking about makes a good title is what is the promise of the video? This is really important. It should be exactly what someone is going to get once they watch, because if they find out as soon as they click that it might be something else, they're gonna bail. So what are you promising? The thumbnail then needs to be a visual representation of why it might be intriguing. But instead of trying to guess what makes your title more intriguing than it actually is, I like to think of it as if the title is the promise, then the thumbnail is giving you a glimpse into the process. So for instance, for the video that we're sampling today, how to create your first product and launch your store, that's the promise that's being made of the video. The thumbnail is then going to be me, a product that I've created before in such a place as an online store, and the logo of an Etsy shop because that's the place that we went to to create it. So the process was selling coffee mugs in an Etsy shop and that's the process that I was showing in order to make good on the promise. In this video in particular, because I'm teaching you my note card creator framework, that's what the process is in the thumbnail that helps you to understand what you're gonna get from the title. See how it all comes together? You may have noticed the thumbnail of this video because that's why you're here. <laughs> then what you need to do with your content is think of it in a couple of different sections. First you have your opening, then you have a little bit of context. Now we need a segue and advice, and then a CTA. Your opening is the promise expanded. So when you start your video, whatever you have promised in the title, you need to say it and expand on it very quickly. This is one of the ways that somebody verifies that they clicked on a video that's actually going to make good on the promise that it sold. The advice is the process expanded. So like in this video, you saw a note card in the thumbnail. Now you're seeing the note card process in the advice section of this video. I will get to the CTA in just a little bit. And I like to look at context and segue as a little bit more information that the viewer needs in order to get to the advice section and have it make more sense. So context for me is what I like to call the diagnosis. The diagnosis, just like you would go to a doctor, is a doctor telling you what's wrong. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what's wrong and I'm gonna tell you why the advice is going to help with it. And the reason why it's going to be helpful is the segue, which is the treatment. If this is what's wrong, then this is what's going to fix it. Let me show you how, see? So now you have your title filled in here. You've got an idea of what visually is going to be represented in the thumbnail. And when you're thinking about your opening, I'm gonna give you a bigger spot for this to, to really nail it. Because if you don't nail the opening, the video might fail completely. But then you can write little notes to yourself here about, okay, what's the diagnosis? Like what's the context somebody needs to know very quickly so they can understand why they're being presented with this information. Same thing with the segue, quickly make some notes. What is the treatment that people need to know is required so that we can go into the process now and they really want to see it. Each of these steps is what makes somebody continue to stay with the video. You're compelling them with a strong argument as to why this content's going to be valuable for them. I usually have a little scribble of a note here for diagnosis, a little scribble of a note here for the treatment, and I've got my process expanded more in my like long form notes just in case there's a lot of steps involved. Now, for the opening in the CTA, we use the back of the card. I'm gonna give a nice big section at the top. This is your opening. And this is really useful for when you're having those moments of like, oh my gosh, how do I start a video? How do I start a video? What I like to say for the opening is it's a five second ad. Now, 
five seconds is a little ruthless, let's be honest. But a five second ad for your video basically means that whatever you say at the start needs to be so compelling that you have basically created an advertisement for why this video is gonna be awesome, which is why in this section you will write what the promise is expanded. So my recommendation is to go ahead and just repeat the title of the video in this section here and then maybe add a couple of notes about why someone should stick around for the rest of the video. So repeat the promise and why to watch. That is an advertisement for the video that someone's already watching because they could leave at any time. So you've got to get this right. So then this is your CTA, which is essentially 30 seconds to take action. Once someone has gone through the entire experience of your video and they are now at this phase, what do you want them to do? Maybe there's a next natural step in the process like buying your product or subscribing to your channel or reading your book. What is the thing? This is where you get to ask for value in return for the value that you just gave. Write that ad, nail this. If you don't script anything else in your video, script the opening to make sure it's really strong. And then always make sure that you know what you're asking for in return for great content. It's not that you get to ask for something, whether you deserve it or not. It's that your audience might like you and want to learn more and needs to know, okay, well now that I have this information, what do you recommend the next step be? Don't think of this as like, of extra bonus. This is necessary in the relationship building process with your audience. And that is my note card creator framework. Okay, now that you've come up with what your brilliant video idea is, hopefully you have filmed it by now and have a video file ready to upload to Descript. In this final phase, we're gonna take that video file and allow Descript to do all of the nitty gritty editing that is not that enjoyable for those of us who either are bootstrapping our own business or just really are the creative mind. So much of the challenging part of video editing is gonna get taken care of in a snap. Okay, so we're gonna upload our video file into Descript. And what you'll notice is that you can actually enter the name of your speaker. So you have this whole unedited video file imported into Descript. You can see all of the words that you've said. You can start editing within the actual script itself if you wanna take anything out. That's an amazing editing option, but you can also do things in Underlord like remove retakes, so it'll recognize when you did a retake in the script. You can remove filler words. You can also take out unnecessary spaces, so anything that would have been really a no brainer for you to edit out yourself. If you were editing this video fully manually, Descript can do it automatically. So I highly recommend your first stop be everything under sound good in Underlord. Edit for clarity, edit it for studio sound, remove your filler words, remove retakes and shorten the word gaps. When you do that, now you can go through sort of like this beginner version of your edited video and fine tune it however you see fit. It's amazing to use AI to just skip ahead, take a shortcut, but you still wanna make sure that you customize this so that it is exactly how you designed on your note card that you would want it delivered. There are so, so, so many people that if you're a beginner on camera, remove filler words is probably the best feature this entire thing has to offer just because we don't realize how often we use them. But another pro tip for when you are filming, when it comes to retakes, you will really have a much better final product if when you for some reason need to stop in the middle of filming, make sure you stop very cleanly. Like right now, if I were to mess up, I would go, I would go like that. And the key thing being, don't let there be too much filler. Don't let there be too much sounds or too much frustration. So many people will be like, oh my God, oh, I messed up, I messed up. You're just making more words. You're making it a lot harder to edit it down. Because I'm so good at like starting fresh because I have made thousands of videos on YouTube, it's even better when AI technology cuts down the final product. So don't get frustrated when you mess up or you have filler words, just do your best to like, Pause, take a breather, 
and just know that the machine's gonna take care of it all. So you can just proceed with a fresh slate. But also, if you're a hot mess, every single one of these features is gonna fix it, so do you. So here's a really good example of a space that needs to be removed. You can listen to what I said. Variety of different products with your own designs as simply as a couple clicks. As simply as a couple of clicks. So that's both spaces and a retake. So you can just delete from the script what you don't like. We don't want that space. Different products with your own designs as simply as a couple of clicks. Beautiful. I mean, I love that so much because the computer just knows I want it to sound good and I need to take out these extra things. It's just, ah, oh, the easiest editing process. Once you have the video in a good place, you're ready to export it, just click publish. You can decide to just export the file or you can upload it directly to your platform of choice. So if it's a YouTube channel, you can connect it to Descript, you can put your title, start adding your description, the category it belongs in, and start adding some tags. I always upload every video to private. I never upload it in any other way because you do not want to accidentally publish a video, people. That is amateur hour. So just make sure it's always set on private and you can upload to your YouTube channel directly. Now you can totally finalize your video and upload the beautiful, creative, amazing version to YouTube or wherever you want to post it. But the other thing I want to point out is there's some amazing bonus features here. One of the big things about video today is that you've got to get the most out of what you create. So you have this amazing long form video, whether it's three minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, that's great. But you might find that you'll get more traction out of it when you try to repurpose it. Descript's gonna do all the work for you. So let's do some repurposing. In this section, if you hit create clips, it'll give you an idea for layout. So visually, what do you want the clip to look like? Okay, so we're gonna say we want two clips at 30 seconds and I want them to look like that. But now Underlord is gonna find some key parts of the video that work for a 30 second version. And just in case you didn't know, the reason you would do this is maybe you wanna post a little teaser on Instagram or LinkedIn saying, hey, I uploaded this really great video, but it's too long for me to post here. So let me give you a snippet, a teaser of what you will see. And that is what these 30 second videos are essentially going to do. They're gonna give you organic content to upload to those other platforms while also pointing back to the really great content that you created on the main platform where the long form version lives. Okay, these are the repurposed clips that Descript pulled up. Not only does it cut it down, reformat, and make it vertical for you so you can just go straight to the other platforms to upload it, it gives you a potential title and a reason why the audience is going to like it. So you can see the description here is basically pitching to me why this clip is highly engaging based on what the content is. So let's play it. I've made thousands of dollars in my business just by selling this coffee mug. All I had was a computer and internet access to make it happen and it was live and ready for sale in less than a day. I'm going to show you how to do the same right now. We're going to use what they have to offer and integrate it into launching an Etsy shop. Oh my gosh, that's actually so good. I'm so excited. What a vibe. I really like this text. All I did was click on a template, so easy. And if you don't like the version that you got initially, all you do is delete the copy that you don't want in it and it fixes the video just because you edited the script. So there you go. If you like it, just export that version, get it over to your Instagram, start sampling your show in places and you're gonna get views from one platform to another. It's brilliant. Another thing that you're going to love about getting as much exposure as possible is the magic of the internet is you can be worldwide. We are global people. And so if you want to reach people in other countries, then you might wanna translate your video into other languages. So if you think that what you have to offer is going to be helpful to other places in the world, then you wanna check out the translate feature. Under repurpose, Click on translate and we're gonna pick a language. I'm partial to Italian and submit. So you can see your original script up against the Italian script and if you think it's good to go, you go right ahead and click 
done. So this is useful because when you export the video, it's gonna help with closed captioning in Italian or whatever language you chose. See, video editing doesn't have to be that bad. Descript does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You can check it out for free when you click on the link in the description down below or when you scan this QR code. So once you've planned your video and you've filmed it, let it be smooth sailing from there by letting Descript and their Underlord technology take over. I hope this helps you to create amazing videos to attract an audience that you want to grow your passion project or business. If you're looking for more details about building a brand through video creation, I've got another video for you to watch right here.